Hello everybody, what's up guys? Welcome back to Infinite Pixels and today I'll be showing you guys this uh free this uh free pixel light software that I think is a little under the radar for a lot of people called Pixelorama by Orama Interactive on itch.io itch.io. I'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. But um I'm on the so I looked it up on Google and you click this link right here and the page will load up. So this is the page for it, and it's a um, it's a very well made pixel art uh, software. It's free, of course, and um, yeah. So I'll show you guys. Um, you can download it by clicking here, download now. Or there's some uh, different versions down here. It gets updates a lot, as you can see right here. Updated twenty twenty one uh point six. 0.62 version, you know, 2020, 20, uh, July, September, October, you know, May, and then 63 days ago. So the updates have still slow, slowed down, but so far there's been two updates this year. I mean, that's a little uh, slow compared to last year's six, but that was when it came out. So, but yeah, so uh, they still, they still update it. Just got, I'm on the, uh, I have the most recent one installed, the most recent version, which is as of right now recording this is. 0.9 yeah just 0.9 so here's a couple of the features if you go to the website you know you have a uh, different tools you have all your basic ones you even have an animator in here you you got custom brushes um you can import images export of course you got you know i really like this tool so you can also run it off of the web i believe um if we click this you can also run it straight from your browser Okay, it's loading, I believe. Uh, yeah, here it is, here it is. So yeah, 0 0.9, you can run it straight from your browser if you want it to, but it's a little uh janky. Not because of them, but because of my computer and I'm recording, but you know, I'm pretty sure the website is actually pretty stable. But I have it actually installed, so I'ma just, so I'll just uh, leave this page. Okay, so here's the um the icon for it, his Pixelama right here. So after you download it, um you can download it without the zip, I believe. Let me check if I downloaded it. Yeah, you just click that setup, it'll set it up real quick, you know. Uh very pro very fast process, doesn't take up uh, a lot of storage, so it's very lightweight. So we're gonna open up the program. Okay, I'm putting a full screen. So every time they update it, um, or every time you open it, it has like a different picture right here that's done in Pixel Art that I believe they did. So this one's very nice. I like this a lot. So you can go to new, open, open last project. So if you go to new, you can obviously choose the um you can lock the aspect ratio. You can um choose your width and height of the uh temp of the uh the canvas you want to choose. They have different templates also. Can you know choose the um the project name, fill with color, landscape or portrait. So as far as I know, it's unlimited. You can literally put in whatever number you want, and it will do it as long as your computer can handle it. So like for example, we're gonna do the um, height will be like, let's make that sixty four. Let's make like the width like one hundred and ten, for example. Click OK. It'll change it right there so that's what it is now so uh, without me having the quarter one it's uh it runs very fast and it's very lightweight so we have multiple tabs up here as we can see so I'll just X this one out so you know you got your you could basically you know you, you got your draw obviously um that was my that was the one of the features fill inside you know, obviously, if you connect, like, the points and make it a shape or something, it'll automatically bucket fill it for you. So, that's not something you gotta, so that's something you gotta do. Just undo that, you know. Tells you down there. One uh, feature I like about this that I haven't really seen on a lot of other ones is the fact that I can um, left-click to use the pencil and right-click to use the bucket if I wanted to. And you can change that over here. So, I can right-click to use the eraser, change the right-click tool... Then I can just erase, you know, you could draw, fill with tool, erase. So it's a very nice tool. 
it's um the program is very good they put a lot of thought into it so we have the color picker it tells you what the tool is and how to use it you got pencil eraser bucket the shading tool you got your line tool rectangle circle well the ellipse move magnify that one's move this one's the pan lasso tool magic wand select by color polygon skeleton ellipse skeleton rectangular skeleton so they have um a couple options down there and you can uh adjust this window if you want like this you can adjust it however you um like to your choosing over here and down here they have different palettes they got different ones pre-made you can add some more you can add palettes and or you can delete some but yeah they got colors down here i like the color pick on it because it has rgb but if you don't like rgb which i personally use hsv they have that as well you got the numbers you got the raw right here the raw number of the color if you if you know doing that you know that advanced you got the color picker tool right here yeah um so it's very nice color picker you have that over here too for the right hand tool if you want to um have a pencil you can make both of them the pencil and then just make this one like a different color or something which i like a lot so i can draw red over here i mean right blue over here and then red right there on um, this one i don't have fill inside so if i did have fill inside that's what it would have done so i can right click that one right click that right back so it's a very nice tool it's a very nice program the developer put a lot of thought into this and it's free so i really like this program overall it's a very nice pixelite software this will be the main one i will use instead of the one i used to so on future timeless videos i might switch back and forth between them depending on if you know the features the feature set so they have layers too of course they have layers down here you can um you can add different layers you can lock layers what does this do Oh, so this is cell linking. So I haven't exactly figured out what that means yet. It says link cells are being shared across multiple frames. So this is also the animation slide down here. So this uh, creates a new layer and to add new frames is right here. So you can add different frames. You can uh, remove frames, clone. So basically duplicate, manage tag, move ones. You know, you can play the animation, choose the animation uh you know the fps you can cycle the loop they got onion scanning you know you can choose the color red and blue mode uh future frames how many future frames and back frames so yeah um other than that like it has the features set because when i remember when i first got it it was around i think i got it when it first came out actually back in 2020 it was just that the feature set wasn't exactly um there just yet for me to be able to use it like actually but i still had it you know of course was uh hoping they would update and they did they um they have a lot of features on here you know that um a lot of other ones would have uh like the one i use online uh pixel like so yeah it um it's uh pretty good i i don't i can't find any cons about it you know it's simple fast one thing I love about this is how it's not limited because the one I use online, you know, you, the canvas size is limited, you know, st certain things are limited. And this one, you know, of course, doesn't rely on internet. So I just love how you can choose, you can, you know, choose a thousand by a thousand, 20,000 by 20,000 if you really wanted to for the canvas size. But um, they also have, you know, that, uh, what, I can't remember exactly what it's called, what where you like draw like the parallel on different things if you want like that you know so it's a very cool software to keep out keep out and look for let me just go back to the uh website real quick so you hear some of the examples that you know i guess they've made or animations too so they got some comments down here. It's it's a pretty nice. I haven't um I haven't found any glitches yet. So yeah, they have they have a couple, you know, 
you can uh do that you can follow the devlog if you want look at that see what's happened happening with the program you know zero i had it around this one i believe february but it was out since 2019 december point zero point five so I think I had it during January or Feb or February. One of these. I might have been this one when it first came out because I remember this image. When it first pulled up. Because I saw a YouTube video about it. Or way back. And I haven't heard much about it. So I think it's gone under the radar quite a lot. So it's something to keep out look out for. Support them if you can. Um, it's very nice. Very nice project. Very nice uh, pixel art software that's free. So... They uh, add, you know, quite a lot of features every time. So, yeah, guys, this is, um, so, yeah, thanks for watching the video. This is a program to keep, you know, an eye out for. It's very nice. It's free. You guys can download it. Um, it's for Windows. Let me see what else they have it for. It's for, uh, yeah, it's for Windows, Linux. Uh, they even have for Apple. So, you know, if you have those, you know. You can get it. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a it's a nice, interesting program. It's my favorite by far. So I'll be using this, switching back between this one and the one online, just depending. So yeah, it's so yeah, it's been nice uh using this program. So that uh concludes the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys uh. You know, see, um, enjoy the, vi enjoy the video. Please, uh, like, subscribe, and hit that subscribe and notification bell if you haven't already. And thank you guys for, uh, all who've, you know, subscribed and stay with me. I know it's been a while since I've come back. Just wanted to get you guys with another tutorial, another free software you can use. My next video should be another time lapse, you know, working on some more small pixel lights, you know. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for supporting me. And uh, I'm still trying to get to 50 subscribers by the end of the year. So I need, you know, um, you guys to share, like, you know, boost it with the algorithm. Get my video out there, you know, because more people, in my opinion, should hear about this software. It's it's not, it's not out there as much as it should be, in my opinion. But, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.